my friends, this is one of the most satanic vehicles I've ever seen. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2016 in Tulsa. What are the Chupa Cabras? El Nacho Grande. Really? Wow. Okay. This car. What we see here? That is a shrunken head hanging from that rear view mirror. And there in the back of that car, you see a baby's skull. How, how twisted. I, I, I can't even understand how twisted society has gone here. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm. Mm. My friends, we need Jesus. We need Jesus. I, mean, I, I know we need Jesus, but oh my gosh. I, it's this bad. It's this bad. My friends, if you are considering killing your child, or if you have already made the decision to do so, please know that there is hope in the name of Jesus Christ. He doesn't want you to kill your child. He wants you to choose life. Because Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life. And God will not allow murderers into heaven. Please, we must repent. <clears throat> we must call on the Lord Jesus to save us. There is a better way that we can choose today. <clears throat> you do not need to choose death. Ma'am, would you like one of these booklets? No, thank you. Oh, thank you. Ma'am, when you support this place, you support the murder of innocent human beings. Ma'am, there is a better way in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have life inside of you, please know that Jesus Christ does not want you to murder him. This is the fruit of the world, folks. This is the fruit. Oh, mercy. There is a better way that you can choose. A way that... A way that has life. I know His name. His name is Jesus Christ. Oh, my friends. Why have we chosen the way of death? Why have we chosen the way of the world? Jesus says there is one way to life. And his name is Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. This car creeps me out, man. This car creeps me out. Oh. 
so evil. Oh my gosh. My friends, I challenge you, stand up for life today. Stand up for life. Defend the unborn. Do what parents are supposed to do and love and nurture their children. Children are gifts from God. Jesus Christ wants you to choose Him, my friends, because He is the way, the truth, and the life. This reminds me of one of my favorite passages in the Bible, in John chapter 8. You may know about it. Jesus encounters the woman who is caught in adultery. And the Pharisees wanted to stone her. But Jesus said, The one without sin among you should be the first to throw a stone at her. And when they heard this, they left one by one, starting with the older men. Only he was left with the woman in the center. When Jesus stood up, he said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. She said, he said, neither do I condemn you, said Jesus. Go, and from now on sin no more. Then Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. He said, go and sin no more. She can be childbearing age. Mm. Why would she be here? Mm. Old enough to smoke, I see. Yeah. Ma'am, if you are here, to kill your child or to support the killing of a different child. Please know that God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. God calls us to advocate for the lives of the unborn, advocate for the lives of our neighbors, But what are we doing? What are we doing for our neighbors? What are we doing for them? Are we leading them to the slaughter? Are we ignoring their needs? Are we pushing them away because we're only concerned about our own needs. My friends, God calls us to love our neighbors as ourselves. Did you know that? Our neighbors can be a lot of different people.
Our neighbors can be our unborn neighbors. It can be our brother or sister in need of food. A brother or sister in need of shelter. Or other kinds of affection. And when they call out, how do we respond? Do we respond like the sheep that Jesus talks about in Matthew 25, where we attend to their every need, where we give them food to eat, we give them water to drink, we clothe them, we take care of them, we visit them, We need to stand up for the lives of children. Sir, stand up for life today. Be a man. Defend life. Don't be a coward. Take responsibility. Take responsibility for the life that you have created. God has given this, us the gift of making children. How we have so abused this gift in this country. This country is an enemy of God. Why do we continue to live in rebellion with God? Do we not know that if we love our soul life, we will lose it? And if we hate our soul life in this life for His sake, we will gain eternal life. John 12. John 9. John 12, passage about loving your soul life. Okay, my friends, I'm going to read John chapter 12. It says, Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, the one Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha was serving him. Martha was serving them. And Lazarus was one of those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took a pound of fragrant oil, pure and expensive nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped his feet with her hair, so the house was filled with the fragrance of oil. Then one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was about to betray him, 
said, why wasn't this fragrance sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? He didn't say this because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the money bag and would steal part of what was put in it. Jesus answered, Leave her alone. She has kept it for the day of my burial. For you always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Then a large crowd of the Jews learned he was there. They came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, the one he had raised from the dead. Therefore, the chief priest decided to kill Lazarus also, because he was the reason many of the Jews were deserting them and believing in Jesus. The next day, when the large crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took palm branches and went out to meet him. They kept shouting, Hosanna! He who comes in the name of the Lord is the blessed one, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear no more, daughter Zion. Look, your king is coming, singing on a, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first. However, when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him. And that they had done these things to him. Meanwhile, the crowd, which had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb, Friends, there is hope in the name of Jesus Christ. He wants to give you eternal life today. But whatever you got going on in there, in your car, it's not godly. What is that? I just, I literally, I just literally, I, I can't, I, I, I can't, I don't even know, like, I didn't even really think about how people could get that evil, that far away from God, with these satanic symbols in their car, oh my gosh, I, I don't, I don't even know, you know, I, uh, what? Well, why would people worship such a thing that is so ungodly? It blows my mind. Oh my gosh. We need Jesus. Seeking anything that does not include Jesus 
is death. Oh. Oh, Lord, please. Jesus. Oh, please save us from this evil world, Jesus. I'll continue reading John 12. His disciples did not understand these things at first. However, when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and that they had done these things to him. Meanwhile, the crowd which had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify. This is also why the crowd met him, because they heard he had done this sign. Then the Pharisees said to one another, You see, you have accomplished nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. My friends, do you know that Jesus wants to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior? There is one way to life and his name is Jesus Christ. It says that in John 14, 6. Did you know that Jesus calls us to suffer for his name? He does. I would like to tell you about the life-saving power of Jesus Christ. He forgives the sin of my life. He wants to forgive the sin in your life as well. My friends, if you have been here to support the killing of an innocent human being, please know that there is a Savior who wants to forgive you. Ma'am, would you like one of these? It tells about the stages of human life. Do you, do you really love what you're doing that you don't want to learn about some more information about what Jesus has done for you? About the life that He allows us to create? Some hard hearts here today. Stone hard hearts. Jesus Christ wants to rescue you. He wants to rescue you from your life of sin and give you eternal life. How much of us love our own sin that we won't even Consider turning to Jesus. Yeah, you sure can. What was that? You won't be saying that when the Lord comes back. What an evil society that we live in. society. A society that mocks dead babies, glorifies our choice to have abortions, choose things other than Jesus. Pretty sad. Pretty sad indeed. The further we drift from Christ, the closer we drift to the end times.
Jesus Christ wants to free yourself from sin. He wants to shed light on your life and willingly come to Him and confess your sins so that He can forgive you from all unrighteousness. My friends, please turn back from the slaughter today. Jesus wants to forgive you, but you must come to Him in repentance and desire to know Him more as your Lord and Savior. Please, we plead with you. God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, this, this grieves me. This grieves me. My friends, do you know that, that God will not allow murderers into His kingdom? Jesus. Woe to those who celebrate celebrate their freedoms and indulge in the lust of the flesh. Lord, how long, how long will you allow us to keep on transgressing your word? My friends, do you know that Jesus wants to forgive you? Do you know that he wants us to repent as well? I'm not taking a picture. I'm taking a video. No, not you, not directly. I'm not taping you directly. What people do is their right. You understand that? It's they have the right to do whatever they want. There are certain circumstances where people need to be in a place like this. Do you understand? Not everybody understand has the choice to be, here. Right to be here. I don't always agree with everything. All right? But under certain circumstances, people have the right to do whatever they want. Now, you probably need to leave this property before you get arrested. And I swear to you, you better not be videotaping me. I'm not taping you. You're going to threaten me? I'm loving my neighbors, sir. You're videotaping me? Yeah, I'm going to threaten you. You have no right to do that. I'm not taping you directly. I'm loving my neighbors. My neighbors are being murdered here. And I'm tired of simply allowing this to happen with no resistance. God calls us to love our neighbors as ourselves. He says, No murderer will inherit the kingdom of heaven.